If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. So, do you have any questions till now on the topics we have discussed? Uh, no, we are good. Like, I have gone through all those um, in detail uh, with those uh, which I was asking, and, and I'll, I'll be asking you like little more questions once I get to read more documentation which you have referred. So, yeah. Yeah. So, now as we have uh, seen everything, we have created our data model. Uh, let's try to automate everything. So let's try to go to Autopician Studio now. And uh, we already discussed about the activities we have. So let's try to see what all are the activities we have into Automation Studio. So there are two things we have into Automation Studio. One is overview and one is activities. Overview is where you create your automation and activities is where you create the activities you want to include inside an automation so let's go and create any activity and let's try to automate the process for example let's suppose we have a requirement wherein every every monday we want to send a newsletter to our company company's employees or we have any other requirement wherein we have to send a recurring email uh, because you you came into automation studio because it sounds like automation you will be uh, able to automate things on a recurring basis as well as it has an EP, etl capabilities that we will discuss but let's try to see how we automate the recurring processes with automation studio first so in automation you will you can create an email send definition and you can automate uh, automate on a recurring basis like if we have a requirement wherein we have to send monthly uh, or i should say weekly emails to our company employees then how we can set up a single automation wherein that email will be sent on recurring basis to those employees so in order to do that, we have email send activity. So let's try to create email send activity. Uh, first, we will include what we have created till now. Suppose that is a newsletter email. So while you click on create activity, you will get a list of major uh, uh, seven activities which will do with Automation Studio. So send email is the activity which you'll have to choose in order to send emails on recurring basis yeah click on next option so here the same send flow window will open as you um as to which you are used to when you send emails manually but here we can create a send definition and we can automate that process so try to select the email and the data extensions and the sender profiles exclusion list separation list you want to include and exclude okay I think we did not create any sender profile in this account. Uh, no worries. You can select any MC demo one if you can see. You can select any sender profile. So you have sent, you have a te test keyword in your subject line. So whenever you include test, stop, these type of spamming keywords, uh, then the system will give you a warning. That is why you okay. saw. Yeah. 
So choose the data extension you want to send. You can choose any because we are just seeing a demo. You already know the process. Yeah. So publication list, if we have any publication, if we want the subscribers to unsubscribe from, we can select that. But currently we did not create anything, so we will be giving right. all subscribers. Right. Okay. The duplicate customers means if if in, in the list which we have provided in this uh, target data extension, if we have any duplicate, it is suppress and send only one email. Right, right, right. Suppress email addresses. Yeah. And you were saying this uh, uh, this thing previously, but I forgot multi part MI. I mean, if by any chance the uh, system or the uh, the, the user is logging from an um, uh, uh, like from a device where they are not able to open the multimedia it can show yeah. up a basic message for them okay text message right uh, yeah send to delivery seed list i don't know what this is so this delivery seed list is like some people for internal testing like you create a list okay so of suppose 10 people who are required to test this email, then you create a seed list. This you, this is a backend feature actually, this you won't, you won't fly into the UI of other accounts. This we have to okay. get it enabled. So this list we have to provide them. So whenever any email is sent, that email will be copied to this seed list, seed list people. So suppose you are a marketing team of five people, you can include five people email address into the seed list, provide Salesforce that list. And when any email will be sent, this five people will always receive the email if you check this checkbox. Okay, so any email, whatever it is, um, if it's been sent from marketing cloud, if you're checking this up, it, it's gonna send a copy of email to us. Yes, yes, yes. Copy of email to okay. those five subscribers. Do people use this in real time or like? Yeah, people use because they want to keep track that suppose schedule this automation to be deployed, suppose after a week and after so and you are out of office for that week, right? So but if you receive this email, if you are the part of this seed list, so you so after five days when this email will be sent, a copy will be sent to you as well. So that means you can check the inbox and you can be assured that the email send out is complete. Just for okay. testing purpose, this is used. Okay. And left hand side, you have a feature send throttling. Suppose you want to divide your send. Uh, this this send throttling feature is used. Suppose you want to your sub data extension is of one lakh subscriber, right? So if you hit if you do not select send throttling, all one lakh subscribers will receive at once. But if you configure send throttling and if you define time, so those subscribers will be divided and sent into intervals. Suppose you want to send first 10,000 for one hour today, the next 10,000 for second hour, next 10,000 for third hour. So that so the all the send will be will be going on, but not at once in batches. The frequency you have to decide here. So okay. You, yeah. You can specify if you click on delivery window option, you can specify like at in between what time frame you want to send. Suppose you want to send all the emails within five hours. So select the time here and you can select hourly threshold as well. Each hour, how much? How okay, many? So, mm -hmm. okay, so basically if you're checking this out, we, we need to specify like there will be some blackout timing, right? Uh, apart from blackout timing, we need to select which time has to be uh, in which time the emails have to be sent. And apart from that, uh, if we select this hourly threshold, we can give the uh, number of emails to be sent for every hour. Right, right, right. You can set hourly okay. threshold. So you give a delivery window of five hours and every hour you want to send 20,000 emails, right? So the entire one lakh population of your data extension will be divided into five parts and will be sent at five different 
timings. Suppose if the first 20,000 will go at 12 a.m. The next 20,000 will go at 1, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. till 1 lakh is sent. Okay, sure. And I, I, I remember you saying about a blackout window where we should yeah. not send out the emails and it will, and where should we give that option? Where will that option be available? Blackout window is when when system will not send any message to any person. You can see that into mobile studio. This is not blackout window. This is the window. I understand. I'm just. I'm trying to understand where is that option available to select. I do not know where that option is available to select. Yeah, I'm just trying to understand where. If you log into Mobile Studio, can you try to log in there uh, into Mobile Studio? You will have an option in Administration, Mobile Connect Administration. Okay, so that one is uh, available only on um, mobile. Uh, yeah. SMS notifications and, and, right. and not in email studio. Okay. Right. We do not have any blackboard window kind of thing in the email studio. It's the only oh. thing which we have is yeah. that we can have selected the delivery yeah. window. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, this is a blackboard window, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, let's get in. And the last option is track clicks. If you want to track if somebody is clicking on your email, this information will be available in your job ID. For every send a job ID will be created. So there you can see how many people clicked open. So if you deselect this, then tricks will not be tracked. But we have to keep this as it is because we want to track clicks. And suppress from send report yeah. if, if you. So like if you do not want to include this send in in the report, there is some standard and standard reports in marketing cloud analytics builder. So if you do not want to include this send as a part of that report, then we can suppress it. But if you if but we we, we don't generally suppress this. Because we want reporting of our all sends. Yeah. Okay. So and it's tracking destination folder. Yeah, this is the same we you see into email studio tracking. There you there you see okay. in that there you can create a folder and store the tracking info or any a job ID will be created. So that job ID would be saved to that particular folder. So can try to change it and try to select any other folder. Then we will go and see to that folder if our job ID is available or not. Okay, so we selected SM. Nice. So now click on next. Uh, it will be asked. He will be asked. The system will be asking to check the checkbox. and finish this definition. So now what we have, what is our requirement as we have created our send definition? We have a requirement, suppose that we want to send this every Monday, okay? The same email has to be sent every Monday. So now we have to automate this uh, activity which we have created. We will go to overview now and we will try to create an automation. So okay. Yeah. So let's try to go to overview and uh, there. Yeah, that right. So there you will see a new automation. You can click on new automations. Yeah, now you on the left hand side, you can see schedule and file drop are the two type of entry sources. We will see file drop later, but if you want to set a recurring process, where you are sure of time, like in our case, we are sure that on every Monday we have to send. So we will click on schedule. If we are not sure of time, then we have another option file drop. So let's let's try to schedule this automation. Uh, before that, from left hand side, from the activities tab, you can see plenty of activities. 
you can drag and drop email send activity. Try to search for email send email activity. Right, send email activity. Now click on choose option and select the activity which we have created just now. Okay, so we have, we chose this activity. Now we will schedule this automation. So when you want to start, you give the start date and it will be asking for a repeat. You have to set if it is a recurring automation or what type of automation it is. So if you suppose we want to repeat every uh, uh, weekly, then we will click on weekly option. Or if you want to repeat it daily, then we will click on daily option. So it is asking when this when this will end, you can define a recurrence or you can click on never option from the drop down where you can see after. Yeah, never. So this this will never end or end after 10 occurrence. So now on the top right, we will be clicking on save option. We will try to save this automation. Yeah. Yeah. So we have two options. If if you want to test it now, that how this automation is performing, we can click on run once option. Or if you want to activate this automation on the scheduled time, then we will have to click on activate option. If you want to test it. Exactly. Yeah, here. Yeah. So it will be activated uh, as soon as the time is uh, reached. So you can see at the bottom next run time. That is 12 a.m. on 15th of Feb. So this automation will run on. Yeah. yeah, but if you want to run it now and test, then pause this and click on run once option. You have to select the activities which you want to run as a part of this automation. So select the checkbox. Yeah, you can see a checkbox, right? Select, you have to select the activities. If you have multiple activities, um, right now, click on run once option. Here, if you want to send any error, errors, suppose this email activity failed, you want to send any error so that a recipient can be notified, you can include his email address. If you don't want to include, then you can skip this step. It's not allowing to add any email address. Um, because we haven't added the email addresses into the automation, uh, click on cross option from the top right. You can see cross. Yeah. Now click on cancel option. Right. Right. Click on activities. On the top, you can see, yeah, on left hand side, you can have no, 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 not that. The activities we had in automation. Open your automation from left hand side. If you have saved in your folder, yeah, in automation, you can see activity right. Left hand side, you will see runtime error or skipped error and run completion. Below that, notification settings. Yeah. Mm. Here you have to include.
Yeah. Now hmm. try to run it. I have run it already. It has okay. Now go to activities. Yeah. So it got errored. Why it got errored? Because we had used M script and we haven't selected the correct email. So the correct data extension. If you select the correct data extension, if while previewing there is no error in our code, then this won't get errored out. Okay, so but the 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 AMP script which we selected is uh, we are having all the uh, uh, values in the data extension, right? But we haven't selected in the correct second? data extension. Oh, okay. So where do we select that workflow? Here you will build a workflow. The series of steps you want to take part as a part of this automation. Go to yeah, edit that option. On this activity, you will see an edit option. Yeah, edit. Right. So here you can go back. Click on continue option. Yeah. Here you can see the next option is select audience. So try to click on next option. Yeah, so what you have selected, Sanjeev, test landing space is a data extension you have selected. If you can see in the target. Okay, so that is not having the data which we want. Okay, makes sense. Right. So that can't be viewed actually. Right, try to follow the same steps. So you on the top right, you can see a refresh button. Uh, so you can try to load that. No, not that. Yeah, just align. Yeah. So you can, so sometimes you don't get the status updated. So you can try to click on this button to check the latest status. Only four or five emails, right? Why is it still running? Uh, sorry. It's basically only four or five emails, right? It's still running. Right. I think it is. There is an error. So let's try to see any job ID is created. So there we will see if it got errored or it is still processing. Schedule. Why does it say schedule? Because we did not schedule it right. Uh, so did we select any delivery window there? Click on stop button. Stop. Yeah. So did we select any delivery window? So because the automation is waiting for that delivery window to come. At the last of this activity while scheduling the send definition. We had an option of. I it. have it. Uh... Yeah, so good. No, not here, not here. This is not a delivery window. Into activity. Not. Yeah. At the last, have we selected any delivery window here? Yeah, see that delivery window, okay. it is waiting. Yeah. Now try to run that automation again. Wow. 
go to overviews on the top yeah go to your automation right go to work yeah run once right it will run sometime it takes time you can try refreshing from the top you will see yeah try to run it it will show an error why uh -huh. because we already because. clicked on run once right that request is still in process so you can't run an automation oh. if that request is complete so we have to wait for some time it generally it has generally the same behavior two times it will run automatically uh, right away but for the third attempt it takes some time i think it got completed meanwhile if you can go and check the activity yeah you can see that it it, it got complete now try to see that okay. job yeah so you understood what is delivery window right yes i understand it now yeah so it got complete you can click on that name it 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 has given us a job id you can click on that name and you can so you can see who has clicked on what there are many many email addresses which i have given right but it has sent only to one can you check the data extension once because it is only saying one subscriber is present um cuz like we have 6 to 7 in that that's the reason i'm asking let's see for records so this is the same data extension yes yes correct with the customer data otherwise it will throw some error right right and what is the what is the send relationship defined in properties can you check customer id right go to record and try to check each and every record id contact id's status in all subscriber uh it's not email address it's subscriber key no try checking with subscriber key because email address you can have multiple okay so this email address is in is it is active status 
can you try to check other email addresses as well other subscriber keys as well because here you will see the status based on that status my question uh, i have a small question if you can see the subscriber pay one two three four this email right. address is not the email address which i specified right this is something because this is the email right. address because uh, right. uh, why it why it is because see if it is not an subscriber it will add a subscriber but that customer id you have given is already present in all subscribers it will not pick that email from data extension it will pick the email from all subscribers because you are sending email to subscribers so if you send an email to a list that means it already has that subscriber key and email address but here it will check if that subscriber key is present into all subscribers if yes then it will pick the email address present in all subscribers if not then it will add that email address first and then send email okay now in this case this uh, subscriber key is not there right. you should create a subscriber key right but it right. did not right that is what we have to check why the subscriber key is not created check for others and one more thing does your email address field is an email address data type if not then system can't pick can't find which field is containing email address and it won't add into all subscribers because it can't find any value so the most probably uh, we, we the, the we data type email address the data type is email address or not in order to identify for a subscriber see so how okay, the system okay. will understand system can't understand so it has skipped it has it hasn't added that record into all subscriber and hasn't sent the only record which was present in all subscribers that sent with with his email okay Got you it. have to make sure that how you define your data you should not contain any duplicate customer keys as well you, uh, audience builder contact builder So before sending email, system will check the all subscribers if he is a subscriber or not. If not, he will add the info from. It will be he will pick that system will pick the data extensions info and add to all subscribers and then send. If they are already present, then it would send to the corresponding email address of that subscriber key present in all subscribers. Okay. it cannot be edited here yeah because we have already created a data model out of this so what we have to do is we have to break that not data sources data designer attribute groups you have to see see for attribute group which we have created you have to break that attribute group this is not the one which we have built okay like uh, like for our uh, use cases can we have something uh, like this create if you want me to create in the back end if you give me a kind of model i'll be creating something like because like having a data realistic data like this would help me to understand more details yeah we will we will see that in future when we will study journey builder we will extend our data model so that i already we will change the data model we have as of now okay so i'm just seeing I 
Uh, this is a total attribute books and will be having something else. You will have your mm -hmm. own attribute yeah. group. On the top, you can click on next, next option. You can see attribute group and you have next options. This one? No, no, on the top. No, 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 not there. Yeah, just yeah, attribute group and you can see one to 12 of 270 written. Just yeah, here try to search any attribute group if you have created with your name. I think you have created with your name. Okay. That's what I usually do, so that's gonna be easy. But when I search it here, it did not come up. So what? What we? You refresh from the top. The screen is stuck actually. The name is purchase data in the school format. Customer data. Yeah. Customer data, customer data. Is there any way to search it easily? Or you have to go like this only? No, we have to do it <laughs> like this. In general, there will not be these many attributes, right? So, yeah. Yes. But we can do from tomorrow, we can switch the views. Like we have other views where we don't have this much of work already being performed. There we can easily study. Can you say you, you are asking about different business unit? Yes, yes. Yeah, there is some.
Select so you can't really edit a data type of an existing field. What you have to do is you have to export the record. You can rename it. I can delete it, right? Right, but don't delete it Not. before. Ex try to export that record. Because we will re-import that file, right? Go to record, export this yeah. file. Click on browser down. Okay, so it... You're saying something? Yeah, it won't get downloaded. It will go to FTP. Select delivery location here. Okay, it will go to FTP. So we don't have an option to to browser download this. Maybe you can export it from email studio to see if we have that option enabled. Download on browser. No, we don't have that browser download option available. So only thing is, do you have this file on your desktop? No, I gave it manually. Okay, let's export this file. Right, set up our FTP account. That is also a process which I was going to tell you. But export it. Just remember the name. Okay. Now try to add create email address field. Clear this data. Delete that email address field and. Try to add another field. So you have you have uh, created that field? No, I have refreshed it automatically gone. Ah, okay. You cannot delete attributes existing before reviewing the relationships. Uh, we already removed the relationships, right? So one more attribute is there, Soumya, to which is linked to this relationship. Yeah. We don't have anything. Is the only one. We need to delete this one also. Yes, yes. This data extension should not be into any relationship. If one thing is gone, you need to go back, 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 back. That's one good thing. Yes, that is a pain in marketing cloud. Yeah, so UI is very slow. It's been yeah. like, we have improved <laughs> a lot in a couple of years, but still it's not up to the mark. Yes. <laughs> you, but, but it will again get lost. It's like deleting everything and then deleting. Yeah, delete it. We will create a new. Uh, deleting is also taking time.
going to export the data here again. No, the data is already exported. So we don't need just that exported file went on FTP. But we will see, we will set up an mm -hmm. FTP account. Done. Okay, so now let's do import that data back. Uh, let's go to that data extension which we exported. It went on the FTP. So yeah. here, yes. try to clear this data first. Clear this data. And now we will set up our FTP account because the export okay. went on our FTP. So you know about FTP, right? Yeah. Yeah, so how to set up, go to, uh, go to that uh, setup option. You will see FTP accounts there. On left hand side in the data management. Oh, just a second. That thing I think is not enabled for you. So let me enable that. And also can you help me to understand how to enable and disable its users? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me share that and share the screen with you. You can stop sharing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is, it is. Okay, so you go to setup. Here you will see setup. And under setup, this user option, the first option under administration, here you can see users option. So let's try to search for the user, your user sandbox one. Now, if you want to restrict some permissions, here is the manage role option. Okay, so here you can assign roles and here you can restrict the permissions. Edit permission. So in administration, this account was denied. So here you can see allow deny option. Okay, where is the okay in users? You do have option of create users, right? You have clicked on that to enable to disable. No, let me show that again. So I went to user. Um, I went to user. These all are the already created user. If you want to create a user, click on create. Yeah, I, I understand this part, like where you are 
restricting that i want to show see that particular check box that's it okay okay so you have a lot of permission suppose i want to restrict uh, anything about this user i will check the check box manage roles now here you will say edit permissions option here are the list of permissions you can read and enable disable based on the requirement like administration you want to give user creation access or not here you can allow or deny this is allow or deny so if in administration if you want to allow this user to create access click allow you want to deny then click deny by default if it is not checked it is allowed similarly if you want roles accounts we have plenty of permissions like journey permissions we have email send wizard permission to give some to give somebody access to email contents audiences like data okay. station so here you can go and create now can you try to share your screen once now can you try to go uh, see that ftp option enabled or not But do we have separate option called FTP also on that particular list? Yes, yes. You have whatever. Oh, Did you refresh this? Yeah, refresh it. Okay, just one minute. Just one minute. Can you refresh it now? Okay, you have this FTP account. Here you can go and create an FTP user. Not allowing to give a username. Um, can you please refresh this from the top? Because I have given you all the access now. I think that page is not getting loaded properly, but uh, we already have plenty of users registered. Seven accounts are there. Problem. Try to follow that instruction. One alphabet, one alphabet, one numeric, and one special character. That's what yeah. I also using. Okay. One numeric, one alphabet, and one this. I am leaving the same word they asked. Use your sandbox credentials. 
that the training account credentials you have. Yeah, I'm giving the same one actually. One numeric is not there, but. I don't know what path it is. I gave you, I'm giving all of them which she is it asked for. Try to refresh this window because this is not properly loading. It's not about loading. I do not have access. It's showing the red mark there and not here access having access to create the username. No, it there are already seven users which are existing. That page is not loading uh, on your screen. <coughs> Click on cancel option once. <coughs> zero of one account used. Zero of one account used. Ah. But I have seven uh, seven users on the same window. I don't know why you are seeing me. <laughs> okay, but this is how you go and create. You just create add FTP user. And you create that FTP account and that account is created. I can share the credential. Of, of the FTP account I already have created with this. Will that work with you? Yeah, for sure. So basically, like for an account, we'll be having only one FTP account, right? We cannot have multiple FTP accounts. No, no, no. One FTP general, account you can, can have, have right? But you can have different FTP users. Let me show my share my screen once. Um, stop sharing okay. your screen. You can have one FTP. We'll be having one FTP account, but we, we can have multiple users. That's what you're right, saying. right, right. Let me know if screen is visible. One minute. Yeah, I'm seeing a blank screen. Oh. Still you are able to see blank screen? Yeah, it's just a black screen. Uh, yeah, now I can see it. Okay, I stopped. It's sharing. gone again. Yeah. Now? Yeah. Yeah, so this is the same window which you on which you are. You, we have one FTP account and seven different users. Okay, these all are okay. the users, but the account would be same. This is the account URL. So how many active years can we can we actually create in general? Seven. Okay, you seven can, is the maximum. Right. So FTP you are maybe good. that's the reason since you already have already have seven accounts, it's not allowing me to create the eighth one. But this window is not opening at your end. I don't know why, because I have given you full access. Um, so, basically, I, I'm thinking that since seven accounts are already there, it's not allowing the the window to open up properly. That's what yeah, I feel. Maybe this this can be a reason. Okay, so I have pinned you FTP and uh, username and password uh, everything. This is the URL. This is the username. You will be required to log in into an FTP account. So try to share your screen. Let's try to open the FTP. Where did you message? In general, within the companies, we'll be having a separate principle uh, tools or some tools where we use right, it as a right. host name, right? Right. We have to download FileZilla. So any FTP client yeah. you can download, but try to download FileZilla client. This will not work. Okay. So we. If you have FileZilla or any FTP client, you can use that. I think I have something else. I forgot the name of it. Oh my God. 
Maybe it's uh, secure this thing, it's not allowing me. Host name would be the URL. The URL I, yeah, I gave the URL only. I gave the URL only. Okay. So URL. This is your name, right? Sure of it. Yes, yes, this is the username. Port twenty. And password. I'm giving the password of the of the sandbox, right? Right. There's for something. Right. Okay. There's some issue. Is there any port number that you can give us? Port number? 22 is the port number. Yeah, then I'm giving the same one. Let me re try to reset the password. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, I have reset that password and it is Salesforce at the rate 2022 and uh, S would be the capital. But let's wait because uh, mm -hmm. it, it is into pending status. Uh, in one minute it will change and it will allow us to log in with a new password. So what? Okay. It's basically Salesforce with its caps at the rate of 2022. Right, right. Yeah, now we can we can log in. Okay. S caps. Yeah. S caps sales. Uh, at the rate right. Salesforce. Two at the rate. Sorry, one minute. Uh, sales like uh, what is the first letter? At the rate Salesforce or Salesforce at the rate? S yes. at the rate Salesforce at the rate 2022. Sorry. Salesforce at the okay. rate 2022 as capital. At the rate of 2022. Yeah, and there is some issue. It's it's uh, it has a it's a botting. Uh, let, okay, me, let me try with my personal lab. Yeah, yeah, fine. Uh, this is, but in my personal laptop, I'll, I'll be not having any any of this uh, softwares. Yeah, it doesn't help me that way. So tomorrow you want to connect on your personal let, laptop, then it's fine. Yeah, tomorrow I'll try to find the personal laptop and then, uh, like, you just send me the, the client which you are seeing, the email client, I'll try to install that. This is the same file, Zilla, because I'm able to log in with the same credentials. So you, so you will be able to log in. But uh, if you... Uh, like, can you send me the uh, name of, because the, currently I'm do, uh, using WinSCP, which is the one which provided by our uh, organization. 
I'm just trying to understand what is the software which I need to install on the personal laptop. Okay, okay, okay. File is real. Spelling F I L D R E L D right? F I L Z I L L A file Zilla. L L A. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll try to install on personal laptop tomorrow. Yeah. But apart from this, this should work with this also. I do not know why right. it's not working. It should with work. You can try uh, googling any other online FTP client which will allow us to log in because there are plenty of FTP clients you can run on browser itself. Okay, that's better. Huh? Online. So on the left hand, right hand side, you will see that FTP is open. So these all are the folders. So try to see in <coughs> export folder. <coughs> if you got that file, you can see customer Soumya. Yeah, you can download that right click and download. Okay, it went on your. Did you get downloaded? Yeah, it should be. Try to search in your download section of this desktop. We try to browse it from here. If I'm going to email to you, email. So basically, for the FTP, we can have only one FTP account per account. It could be even though we have like seven to eight business units also, it could be only one account for all them. Okay. Um, no, FTP, for each, uh, for each business, business unit, you will have different FTP account. Oh. For oh, one really? view, okay. only one account, but different users. Okay, for one view, we can have one account. I thought like for whole account, we'll be no, having no. one one FTP. In no, no, you can try to create that for other business unit if you have time. In if you have free time anytime, then you can switch the view and create an FTP account for that. Okay. Try to see in documents. Or if it didn't get downloaded right, then you can drag and drop on your desktop the same file from the FTP.
not allowing to drag drop do you have any access restrictions to this no i think the file is available but this type of error i am seeing first time okay yeah there is a local file see user user at the bottom you will see fifth from last here you will see yeah click on overwrite option because your data extension is not including any primary key so that you can add an update import type override where is it option at the bottom you will see import type okay the mapping is done next yeah import close try to refresh this Now, yeah. Now try to run that automation. Let's see how many emails go out now. Okay. What are delivered for? Here you will get the code of email which you sent. Okay. Okay. So we do, if we know the click activity, we cannot have the click activity here. It's showing up the data apart from click activity. in link we we have we don't have any link so we don't we will not be able to generate any click activity click will be only on links you provide open means you open an email okay. click means you click a link inside an email
you will see okay. that yeah so this is how you automate an email send now let's go back to that automation uh, yeah um, refresh this uh, from that activities Okay. Now, okay. Now, from left hand side into activities, we have a wait activity. Suppose we want to send email, we want to wait for suppose one hour. Okay, drag and drop there. We, we are defining a workflow now. We want to wait for an hour. Okay. Click on configure and select one hour. This is the wait activity. Instead of one hour, select one minute because yeah okay now we want to send sms so you can have send sms activity from the left right now if you create any sms in the content builder you will be choose from there mc demo sms we could not create any MC. you can create it uh, you, you just have to copy and paste the code of the email into the SMS in the content builder. And not here in content builder, you will be able to create SMS. I don't know where the message which I created got stored. You don't have HTML content in this, right? Yes, yes. You need to give this tracking here or there's no need no, to no, no, this we don't. You have removed M script as well. It will not display anything like percent percent we just yeah. type. This tracking as well, remove that tracking as well. Yeah, and preview this with Okay. 
now save this SMS. So let's try to select this SMS. Uh, you, I think you won't be able to select it here. For this, we have to create an SMS definition into Mobile Studio. So now let's try to create that SMS definition. This we have created SMS only. We will have to create a definition here. Yeah. So create message. Yeah. I select this schedule api trigger automation so it's not automation right right we will select the audience How to select the message here which we have created already because we have to copy and paste it from there because it will not generate the preview so um, can't select the message which we created in the content builder copy the code and paste it here uh, i understand that i'll copy it i'm just trying to understand we, we created anything in the Content builder, right? Can't right. we uh, can't we uh, select that one here? Do we need to copy paste it again? Yes, yes, we have to. Okay, then what's the purpose of building the content here? I don't know. Maybe they will work on that functionality. So we need to create in the content builder, validate there, and then once it's yes. there, I need to copy paste it. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. And these are option settings. Oh. Yeah. So now save that, save that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, activate. Okay. Okay, now try to see if you are able to see this into automation. Right. Okay. okay. Similarly, you can do same for send push. You can wait for one minute and then you can send a push notification. Send push, but okay. you we don't have any app integrated, so we won't be able to send. But this is a basic workflow. Click on save and run. Then first email will be sent. The system will wait for one minute. And then the next minute, SMS will be sent. This is a simple workflow which we have seen. And the type of automation we have seen is scheduled automation. We have scheduled it. Yeah. Tomorrow we will see file drop. So for file drop, we would require FTP. So if you can join with your personal computer tomorrow, that would be great because we will be dropping a file. Yeah, I'll, I'll join. Yeah. Okay, I'll join with the personal computer. Okay.
we have many activities we will see step by step but these all are the these all are the simple activities we will see in details this account has okay. plenty of activities enabled so we will see each every step by step okay okay and for tomorrow thing uh, for tomorrow i'm just having a small uh, uh, meeting in the office which i need to go by 10 o'clock uh, but by like i'll most probably be back by 11 o'clock or the class time but if i'm not able to then i'll drop you an email sure. uh, so that we can like if you are if you are available we can connect till little late or else we can have the class for the scheduled to wednesday but most probably i'll be on time uh, uh, or uh, like if by any chance i'm late for a couple of minutes I, i'll e- email you and let you know because i don't have your number i just have your email later yeah drop me an email i will be able to respond no worries okay thank you okay so my thanks okay bye bye and i wanted to check with this uh, harshit like is this the pace which we are going is good or else do we need to uh, like like do you expect me to do any back, background uh, this thing before coming to class you can just uh, let me know because i just want the class to be full fledgedly used yeah, if you have any recommendations let me know Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.